yeah so now we will discuss uh, q and a session okay so what is the purpose of job sequence in data stage so here uh, job sequence why we use uh, to integrate all the parallel jobs service jobs what and all we have developed so to run and execute those jobs in parallel and uh, or in an order way so that is the purpose of job sequence it's mainly used for automation process so there is a execution of the flow data flow where the jobs will be executed first job this particular job has to be run and the second job has to be run and then third job has to be run so in that scenario we will be creating the order of the execution of the all the parallel jobs so for that purpose here we will be creating a job sequence okay so here let me show you an example uh, we have developed this particular uh, job sequence right which is in parallel mode which is parallel way so okay so just a minute so here you can see so here you can see the job sequence here i have created a three jobs all three jobs will run at a time okay another job sequence uh, here i have created is uh, so this one the same job sequence here i have created in sequence order sequence order means what first job output will be the input for second job okay so here to execute all the parallel jobs in a multiple run all the parallel jobs at a time and uh, to run one after another it will create a job sequence so that is the advantage of creating job sequence mainly in automation process and the next thing is here if you want to run 10 parallel jobs at a time so is it possible manually so we have to run one job again then we have to run the second job and then we have to run the third job like that there will be manual intervention is required so to avoid all this manual intervention what we can do is we can create a job sequence you can automate the workflow so that the jobs will run as per the given order or all, all the jobs we can run at a time okay so when are we when we are using unix commands in data stage the second question is when we uh, when we are using unix commands in data stage so we will use unix commands especially for example i want to uh, search for a file let's take an example file is the input file is the input for my job okay so you need to check whether the file is available or not yeah okay so whenever the file is available then we have to consider this okay so we have seen another example here so the nested condition right nested condition sequence okay so file is the dependency so just a minute i will open that particular job and show you so here you can see guys so here i have used start loop and end loop here i have called the unix command like uh, ls minus rlt it's for search for a file this particular file uh, this particular job has a file dependency until this file is available then only this particular job will run otherwise job will fail okay so before uh, executing this parallel job i am checking the file is present or not with the executable command stage by using the unix command ls space my minus lrt it will give the file availability so whenever file is available then only uh, it will run this job so here i have provided a deviation condition like otherwise trigger action otherwise otherwise means what there are two options file may come file may not come okay so whenever file is available then only this particular job will run else it will go for no file action here i use a command sleep time so here i have given a sleep time so that uh, for any process there will be stipulated time the file are, are arrived so and so time and job has to complete by so and so time so within this stipulated time the file has to arrive so here i have kept sleep 60 that means one minute is the waiting time period so based on your requirement you can keep for five minutes ten minutes and 
So why we use Unix command since in uh, job sequences, uh, especially to call the files and if you want to print any uh, line. Okay, so we have seen one more access, AWK command, right? So what are, where we use AWK commands in job sequence. So for, exa for example, I want to print a line. Okay, so normally what happens is before starting of the day, uh, of the business hours, we will store the current run date, current uh, business date, and we'll be storing that value in a file. Okay, so why we are storing that value in a file? The purpose is we want to pass the current business date uh, to all the jobs. So here, when we use this particular file name, and we are calling that uh, uh, by using AWK command to print the first line, so that will help us to uh, call the current business date. Okay, so that is the advantage of. So, for example, I want to extract uh, current business date data. So, at the end of the business hours, I need to process the load. I need to update my data raising system. Okay, so there are some uh, uh, data mods tables uh, which will receive from the source. I need to pull the data from the source table, transaction tables, let's imagine. So after business hours, I need to extract what are the transactions happens on this particular day. Okay, so here we'll be saving this date and calling this particular date in, in a format we'll be calling like uh, this one, YYYY MM. DD. Okay, so we'll be uh, appending in the. We'll be calling in uh, by using AWK command with the com executable command set that we'll be storing it in a user variable. Okay, so we have this. We have implemented this in uh, the job. Where is that? AWK command. Yeah, so this is the one. So here I have called the Unix command AWK to print the uh, job titles, something like that. So here we can consider data also. Here we can store the date and here we can pass it wherever we want in our all the jobs. Okay. So that is the advantage of this particular AWK command. What is multi instance? Okay. So instead of creating multiple jobs, Okay, so for example, uh, my business will run in uh, eight countries across the globe. The process is same uh, for updating the data raising system. So instead of creating multiple jobs for each country, what we can do is we can create one job and by using the multi instance option, the same job can be run by passing a integration ID as a filter condition. Okay, so this is multi instance. Multi instance, multi, multi instance. Okay. So we have discussed this integration idea also. When are you going to use CDC? So this is another uh, question. When are you going to use CDC? For example, we want to update the data warehousing system. Okay. So to update the data warehousing system with the current in current updated data. So that is SCD type one okay so scd type one here will be considered as uh, update the system with the latest information okay so update the system with the latest information okay so scd type two so here, maintaining history, maintain history data, and update the system with the latest information. So here we have seen an example, right? Uh, customer dimension in our regular class, customer dimension table, where customer has moved from one location to another location. So here with the start date and end date and record indicator flag, we have implemented. So to update our systems, we are implementing this CDC concept. When are you, when we are using lookup stage and join stage? Okay. So here, whenever the reference volume data is very less. Okay. So you are comparing with two tables 
and reference volume is very less reference data is very less and in that scenario we will go for lookup and if you want to capture the rejected data from the primary input link uh, primary source driving table in that scenario we will go for lookup okay and when we are dealing with multiple uh, i mean heavy, heavy volume of data and in that scenario we will go for joint stage so advantage of joint stage is here uh, to handle a heavy volume of data and also joint stage will internally sort the data before performing the join activity okay to combine two tables right uh, we can go for whenever data volume is heavy you can go for join stage whenever data volume is less in reference table we can go for lookup stage and whenever uh, to handle to capture the rejects from the source which is the driving table in that scenario we will go for uh, lookup stage so guys you have to go to the document which i have referred right the differences between lookup join and match so here i have shown you in our uh, study material folder right so this is the term mm. so here you have to refer this case so data stage so we have to refer this document okay so it has more insight of it and the next one is how can we implement scds yeah so this uh, already we have seen with example okay so we have to watch the recording how to implement scd type 1 type 2 and type 3 okay so here by using cdc stage change data capture stage we can implement change data capture change data capture stage okay so we can implement and change apply stage change apply stage is ca change apply stage is to uh, update the system with the latest information okay so, so to implement scd type 1 we will use this uh, change apply and SCD type 2 by using CDC stage and transformer and we will update the existing records first and uh, insert the new records again. Yeah. New, rec new records and here in SCD type 3 we will be capturing the data whatever it is there in another file and we will do the swapping so here the current location previous location information will be there and if there is any location change the current location has to move to the previous location and the new location will be updated in the current location with the effective date. So that is SCD type 3. Okay. So here, uh, maintaining history in SCD type 2 and update the system, update the system with the latest info. Okay. Latest information. And SCD type 3, we have discussed. Uh, partial history, not uh, full history. Partial history. And update the system with the latest information. Oh, sorry. Okay, this is a city type. So by using, you, you have to understand the flow and explain it during the interview. Okay, so you have to go through this recording. So here I told you to implement a city type one, you have to capture the data differences by using CDC stage, and then we have to apply change apply. Okay, so here uh, I have shared you an example, right? I have shown you in uh, class. You have to go through this just a minute. Okay, so please go through that recording. Okay. So we have covered eight interview questions. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, guys.